Hi friend, this is Mandeep and you are watching High Technology TV. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to install a MySQL database on Google Cloud Platform. So right now we are into dashboard. So let's go to the SQL here, here and click on it. Here. We have an option of create instance. So click on create instance here. And here we have three options that one of them is MySQL, second one is PostgreSQL, and third one is SQL Server that is in beta. So click here on the choose MySQL. If you want to create the first generation of MySQL instance, then you have to click it here. But that will be depreciated in March 2020. So here I am going to create a second generation MySQL instance. So click here on the choose MySQL. And here I am giving it the ID MySQL. Here we have to provide the root password. You can generate here or you can provide your password also you can use the no password here and here you can choose the region and zone and this is the version of our database i'm leaving it default and click here on the show configuration option and on the connectivity public ip is enabled machine type is this so i'm going to change it because this machine is only for the demo purpose so i am choosing the f1 micro select here storage type is ssd and storage capacity is 10 gb here i am leaving it default and this will be the throw output of the disk on the auto backup and high availability automatic backup is by default enabled and our backup will start from 10 30 pm and between 10 30 pm and 2 30 am and here we have by default and by default enable binary logging is enabled that will help us in point in time recovery and uh, replication also on the availability we are using the single zone here if you want high availability you can check here but here we are going with single zone so close it and here on flags we are not setting any flags and on the maintenance we have to provide that on what day and, and on what time Google can perform the maintenance. So here by default any window and any time is here. So we are going to change it from Sunday and between this time. Okay. And then close it. Here we are not setting any labels and we are just clicking on the create here. And it will start creating our MySQL instance. Okay, here it is saying the instance ID is currently unavailable. Okay, not an issue. We are going to change it MySQL 1. And click on create. And it start creating our MySQL instance. Okay friends, so our instance is ready. So let's copy this public IP address and go to the command prompt and here do the telnet. Telnet. And you are able to see that we are not getting the reply. We are not passed through. So here what we have to do is we have to whitelist our network. For that, click on the MySQL instance and here go to the connections and 
and here on the public IP here authorized network and here click on the add network here and here give it the name like office and here you have to provide the CIDR notation of your IP address range so here I am going to give it 0, 0, 0, 0.0.0 slash 0 because this is system is only for demo purpose so that's why I am giving it this CIDR notation and click on done if you want to add one more network you can also do that by clicking here okay so let's click on save here Okay, update is finished. Fine. Again, try the telnet, and here you are able to see that now we have passed through the system. And here, let's click on the databases here. And here, right now, we have four databases that is three of them is system, and one of them is user base. So here let's open the workbench okay and here click on the database and click on manage connections here and click here new and here provide name cloud mysql here provide the IP address and that is the username Tor invalid so here we have to provide the root password click OK test connection again provide the password ok ok something with the password ok let's try it again click OK test connection okay we had to let's go to the user here root change password and provide the new password here click OK done ok now it worked so click OK, close here, done. Now click on connect to database and here choose this Cloud MySQL, click OK and now it is opening SQL editor. Done. So let's create a database first. So create database cloud test. Okay, done. So now go here and click on databases and done. As you are able to see, that we have a database name cloud test if you want to delete it you can delete it from here so if you want to create the user here you can create the user from here create user account and here you have to provide the username password and 
host name and click here cancel and here you can take the backup from here click on the create backup and you can take the backup from here and this is the overview page here fine so let's uh, try the cloud cell now we are going to perform some action on our mysql database through cloud cell so let's expand it a bit done so we are connected to our project successfully so now to connect to our uh, mysql database we have to use the command gcloud sql connect mysql1 this is the command connect to our mysql1 mysql instance that is the name of our mysql instance and this is the command sql connect gcloud sql connect and hit enter now it is whitelisting our ip for incoming connection for five minutes so it is going to take approximate 10 to 15 second again Okay, so done. Whitelisting is done. Now it is asking for the root password. Password is wrong here, so I have to provide it again. Okay, so we are connected to our MySQL through cloud cell successfully. So now use the command show databases. And these are the databases. So here use the cloud SQL, cloud test, sorry. Done. So our database is changed. So let's create a table here. Create table test and here choose the each columns int name vacar 20 hit enter okay test id int name vacar okay we have to close it Hit enter. Okay, our table is created successfully. And now insert some data into this. So for that, use the command insert into test values one mandi done. So we have inserted one record from here. So let's try to fetch it from the this use this command cloud test first of all let's use the database and then select star from test so here you are able to see that 
this is the record that we have inserted through our cloud cell so by this way we can create a mysql database on google cloud platform we can create one more video on that we will cover up the high availability part backup part and more feature of mysql on google cloud platform okay friend thank you thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel have a nice day